Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. I'm Kenneth Copeland, and I'll tell you, I am excited about today. I am so glad to be here. Jesus is alive. <laughs> and I'm here to announce glory to God. He is the Savior and He is the healer. And you, you're going to get your healing today. Father, we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Oh, my key God. Amen. Now, before I say anything else, don't forget to download the study notes, kcm.org slash notes, where you will have all, of, you'll have the outline of everything that's said, all the scriptures that are said and so forth. Don't, don't forget to get that. They're free as always. Now, I want to show you something. And uh, <laughs> it's a little bit gory, but I, hey, I, you can take it and I want you to see it. Now I want you to look at this picture right here. Now that, Oh, Lord God. Mm -hmm. I, I, wow. That was on. That was my leg. That was your leg. Yes. Amen. Just a few months ago. Absolutely. Because I, I, I sat with you and prayed with you last May, and it looked like that. That's true. Amen. Now, tell us about this thing. Well, Kenneth, uh, all last year, for almost a whole year, I was sick. I was bed fast. I was in a wheelchair. This leg here was totally paralyzed. And what you're seeing on the screen, or what they were seeing, um, there it is on the screen, that was my leg. I contracted what you call vasculitis, a disease that eats away your flesh. And there is no cure. I had the best medical help that the world could ever have. They could not do anything. The doctor looked at me, Kenneth, and he said, I can give you some medicine, some pills that might cure the vasculitis. Now, this was a wound doctor for maybe 40, 50 years in practice at Scripps Memorial Hospital in San Diego, California. He said, but if you take it, he said, and he looked at me just like this, he said, it might kill you. Wow. He said, it's that bad and strong of a medicine. We don't know if it will work, but it has a strong possibility to kill you. My goodness. I wouldn't take it. I, I told him, he's my friend. I said, I'm not going to take it. So the vasculitis ate into my foot. You can see from the picture again that it was several inches long, mm -hmm. several inches deep. And I suffered with this for over eight months. Now, that's the same thing that paralyzed your leg, right? That, that's what paralyzed my leg. And uh, so I didn't take any medicine except pain pills. The doctor gave me pain pills to alleviate some of the pain. Every night, Kenneth, let me have your hand. Mama and I would hold our hands like this, and we'd pray. Do you know in all the eight months, I never asked God to heal me? Now, something's going to happen on this broadcast today. There's an anointing very special, because God is a spirit. He's not only with you and I here in the studio, but he's right there where everybody is watching in, their, in their homes. Absolutely. So I never prayed for God to heal me. You know what I prayed for? Tears. I cried every night for months. I was thrown in the back of ambulances. 
I didn't know where I was. I, I, I had no control of my mind. The people, my guys, would pick me up, bring me to the ambulance. I'd wake up in the hospital the next day. And the doctors would say, we're not sure Dr. Cyril is going to make it. We're not sure. I prayed, God, take me home. I've given you 70 years of my life. I'm 85 years old. I've given you 70 years. Now, it's time, take me home. But on the other end of that hand was my wife. You know her so well. Yes. She loves you so much. She was praying, God, don't you listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> Heal him. And then about two months ago, and I've had this miracle for two months, I've been all over the world. I've been in Africa, I've been in uh, Brazil, I've been in Peru, I've been in uh, Panama, I've been in Israel, I've been in India, I've been in Sri Lanka. Showing and testifying. They saw the lake, God came, I got an instant miracle, I could get up, I could walk, I could leap, I could jump, I could do everything with my leg that was totally paralyzed. I was in a wheelchair. Yeah, I know. And then God healed the vasculitis. First, he healed my leg. And while my leg was totally paralyzed and I was healed, the vasculitis was healed. And I don't know if you guys got a camera and we could show you. There's my picture. But you know, that's, that's, that's one thing, you know, you could leave that up there. But I want you to look right here. Got a camera, a handheld camera? I'm gonna show you something, Kenny. Look, now, here you can see. Okay? Can you get this? Now, take a look at that leg. If that isn't the best looking leg you've ever seen, <laughs> Now, just feel that. Now, now that's, that's even, um, there's less scar on there now than was in that picture oh, that they yeah. just showed the, of the healing. Look at this. Like baby skin. Yeah. God does. grew brand new skin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Incredible miracle. Grew skin, took the vasculitis away, and grew new flesh. Wow. Praise God. And you know what? I know you believe that God speaks to people today, right? You know what he said to me? He said, when you testify and you show my people what I have done, I want you to tell them it's for a purpose. And while they're suffering, with their physical infirmities. This testimony will encourage them. You are to tell them to reach out and take their miracle. Right now, right this moment, in the name of Jesus. Now I want you to see something here. <laughs> God was ready to do this thing all the time. It wasn't time. It, 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 it was not time for Brother Cerullo to go home and be with the Lord. He was tired. He was sick. He mm. was worn out. You remember the Apostle Paul said, I don't know whether to go or whether to stay, but to die is gain. To be with Christ is far <laughs> better. He was yearning to go. Mm. But right in the middle of that, he, he, I believe it happened while he was writing the letter. Mm. No. He said, it's more expedient that I stay and finish what I got to do. Yes. But here's what is important. Just almost instantly, when Dr. Cerullo said, I take my healing, 
I mean, God just sewed that thing up and <laughs> rebuilt him a leg and gave, made him strong. And it was hours after that he was on his airplane headed for Brazil. <laughs> I was just shouting the glory over that. Man. I remember when you and I were uh, last, <coughs> last year when we were together there in San Diego, you were in that wheelchair. Yes. And you were sitting here and... You were so kind. I you was... came into the special room where I was sitting because I didn't go into the service. And so I was sitting in that wheelchair. Mama was there dying, yeah. literally dying. Yeah. And you walked in and laid hands on me and prayed for me. And... I remember we had finished praying. Mm -hmm. And I was just sitting there. I knew, I knew the healing anointing was there. Mm -hmm. I also knew it wasn't making the connection that it should. Of course, I didn't know. He hadn't told me all of this. <laughs> that wasn't none of my business at the time. That about that he hadn't even asked the Lord for that healing and so forth. But anyway. I remember this just came up in me. Mm. And I said, uh, MC, you're old enough to die if you want to. Yes, you did. I mean, you're 85 years old, you can die if you want to. Yeah. But not like this. Let God heal you and then go ahead and die if that's what you want to do. <laughs> I remember as if it were today. I will never forget. I've told that story on you all over. Because you also said something else. Yeah, you, turned to, you turned to Teresa, who we've been married for 65 years. And you said to her, Teresa, don't, Mama, don't forget. You're the boss. Yeah, I, I told you, I said, you, now, you're going to listen to your wife. Yeah, that's now, right. Now, she's, she's the boss that here. Was you understand? That was sweet. Because she was the one that's believing God. Absolutely. You weren't. No. <laughs> you you weren't the die, and you were getting it done. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think it would have been but a matter of days until you'd have gone. Which, that's not all that bad a deal. To get to go home and be with the Lord. Oh, yeah. listen, don't ever feel sorry for somebody that, that's gone to heaven. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Ain't none of, none of them, nobody wants to come back. No. But you, sir, are an ambassador yes. to this whole earth. Yes. And you're not done yet. And you got a whole bunch of us right on your coattail. <laughs> so it, it's, there's just, we've moved over into a time, um, the, 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 the time that this, this earth is in, this, the place of, in God's end time, we're in the last of the last of the last of the last days of this. The wonderful thing about this, Kenneth, is God is speaking very clearly, and he is telling us to look up, cross over, because I'm going to take my people to a higher plane that they have ever known, and the same, now I love the New Testament, and I know you have been such an encouragement to the world for the Word of God, but there's something lacking, or maybe call it missing. The God of Jehovah, of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Elijah, that came on the scene, intervened in governments, and performed miracles. 
And he said to me, son, I'm going to do it now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Same type of miracles. Yes, I believe we're starting to see it in our country. I do too. This year. Yes, sir. I believe that. The, uh, <clears throat> if you go back to what God did in the ministry of Moses to Pharaoh and those, mm. those powerful, powerful miracles that he Amen. did back there then. But when he did that, you would have had to have been in Egypt at the time to witness it. Mm. Nobody around on this side of the world knew anything about it. Good. Mm-mm. Good. And some of my Native American kin folks were already here, but they didn't know nothing about what happened at the Red Sea. And, and you come down through, through everything that's in this magnificent book, the, the ministry of Jesus and, and, and what happened here in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, what happened in the book of Acts and, <laughs> and, and, and then all of these things. If, if you weren't there or very close to there, you didn't know about it. Hmm. Mm. But I'm telling you, there, there is at on hand right now, if we will ask for it and believe we yes. receive it, yes. there is a manifestation of the power of God that has never been in this earth. The only difference is it's all over the thing mm. at the same time. And I'm about to jump out of this chair. <laughs> Hallelujah. Boy. And you, sir, yes. are a witness to it. Amen and a witness for it yes. because God has taken you at the, the, what looked like the closing days of your life and just re, restored you and renewed yes. your youth and gave you healing in your body. Yes. And <laughs> you jumped up and been more places in yes. the last few months than you were in the last several years. Yes, that's absolutely right. And he'll do it for you and he'll do it right now. Yes. Amen. You're not done yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something, old man. Old woman, let me tell you something, old pastor. Let me tell you something. Amen. It ain't over with yet. Amen. Hey, no, you're not done yet. Well, nobody needs me anymore. Oh, shut up. You know better to talk like that. Get up from there, praise God, and oh, just yeah. reach out to God and take mm -hmm. hold of what is in your life. Don't miss out on this. Don't miss out on mm -hmm. these last years here when and all of this miracle stuff. It'd be wonderful to go to heaven, but we need you. We need you. You've seen things and you know things that these young kids don't know and they need to know it and they need to hear it from you. Let God heal you. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's time for that. And it's so good. And it's all over the place. Let me tell you what happened. In 2016, we were in Peru. We were in Lima, Peru. Yeah. And we were in a... Uh, um, sports arena right downtown there. Mm -hmm. Two blocks away is a hospital. Now we had, I'm telling you, God was moving. And we were just, and, and here we had pastors in there from all over Latin America. Mm. I mean, they, they were there from every place. Praise God. And God is so moving. We were having such a big time. There was a woman with malignant tumors on her thyroid in that hospital being examined by her doctor two weeks, uh, two blocks away from our meeting. All of a sudden she said, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I am burning. I'm on fire. Her frightened her doctor. He don't know what's going on with you. He does, she said, I'm on fire. I'm telling you, I'm on fire. <laughs> he examined her. The tumors were gone. <laughs> she, they dismissed her from the <laughs> hospital. And she walks out of the hospital 
and sees the big billboard. Uh, and she said, oh, so she just walked from the hospital into our meeting place. And when she walked in there, she said, oh, this is what happened to me. Oh, please. And she got born again. She got baptized in the Holy Ghost, oh, speaking with other tongues. And she just rejoiced uh, and gave her testimony. Uh, well, we're talking about the glory of the Lord here, the yes. glory of God on that place. And it came down over there. <laughs> now, I don't know what else happened in that two or three block radius, but because as far as I know, we haven't heard of the testimony. But now listen, God is doing things in a special way. Mm -hmm. we, there was a man in, um, well, in Billy Burke's ministry, and uh, he was down to Stan Moore's church down, down in uh, Miami, Florida. He's a good friend of ours, and I've preached for Stan. In fact, I'll preach for him uh, in just a few days from now. And Stan Sr. just went home to be with the Lord here just, just a couple of days ago. And... Uh, but he was in his church there in, in uh, Miami. And there was a woman that came up for prayer. She was in the, uh, stage four leukemia. Mm. So Billy laid hands on her and she went out under the power and laid there on the floor for a long time, the rest of the service really. And got up and went home. She woke up the next morning and she said she just felt wonderful. But she looked, there was blood all over her bed. There was blood all over her, her night clothes. There was blood in, in the floor mm. around her bed. She said, I felt great. But they took her to the hospital anyway, and of course she's got a blood doctor. Is you know the leukemia? Yeah, yeah. He checked her blood. He said, "There's there's no sign of leukemia in your blood." Wow. But her daughter said, "Well, check the blood in her in her gown. It was full of leukemia." My. God. Now here's the thing. A lot of times that God has healed leukemia but not a lot of times that he's done a complete blood transfusion, transfusion in the yeah. middle of the night. Right. Special things yeah. are happening. Amen. And you need to be in on it. We're going to be in on it. Amen. Amen. Because this is a special time. There's healing. There, there's healing right now. Praise yeah. God. Amen. This I, is you, a season. You know, times and seasons as you know, are very important to yes, God. Are. And this is the season. Yes, it is. This is time for it. Isn't it? Amen. Yeah, it's God's plan. It is. It's part of the destiny of the end time for this to be manifested. <laughs> Glory to God. And we'll be back in just a moment. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.